finding the right app or document on Windows can mean navigating multiple menus, scrolling long lists, and hunting through folders. It wastes time and interrupts your workflow. Fluent Search fixes this by letting you open anything. Files, apps, web searches with a launch key combination, which is Control plus Alt, by the way, and your search query. So without any further ado, let me show you first how to install it right now. First of all, go to your new tab and search for Fluent Search. Now click on the first link and I will also put this link in the video description right below the like button, by the way. You can simply click on download now and you will be redirected here to the bottom of the page. Now here you have seven options to install Fluent Search on your computer. If you have, for example, Intel processor or AMD, you will go with this version right here, so X64. Or if you have Snapdragon processor, you will go with ARM64. Or if you don't know what you actually have, you can simply click here, get it from Microsoft Store. Now here you can simply click on get and this will install Fluent Search on your computer. By the way, guys, if you are enjoying this type of content, make sure that you smash up the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because I upload tech videos every single week. Now, once you have Fluent Search installed, you can simply click on open right here. Now you will see this first window, select a language. I will click on OK and then the screen welcome to Fluent Search. You can pick either light or dark version or you can also use system theme here. I will go with the light version here and then you can see here that you have search hotkey which is control plus alt but I think you can also change that if you want for example you can simply click on control plus alt and then change this to let's say this and this alt plus space and then you can click on next. Fluent search will have to install a service on your computer so it will be able to search files on your computer so you will have to click here install service and then you will be asked on the admin prompt, you will just simply click here yes. And once it says here that it's installed, you can simply click next here. And then you also have here a few options to search for the applications. You have, for example, Windows, To Do, Settings, Search, Command, Calculator, Files, Apps, Web, or even the browser. Or you can also add more if you want. For example, you have Number, Converter, Translator, Clipboard. For example, we can even add here Kill Process. And let's also add Clipboard as well. Maybe we can also also add as open as admin here. I think this would be very useful. Now we can just simply click on X here and click on next. And then you can also see here that it has search text functionality. So it's a powerful feature that helps you find the most relevant results very easily. So click on next here and then I will just disable send crash diagnostics here and let's click on finish. Now we can see here that you have this window and let's search for example for the edge. And now we can see here that you have Microsoft Edge here and then down below we also have this option open app as admin so it's very cool to see that and you can click on yes here and this is how easy it is to use fluent search on your computer now one simple trick is you can also click here on the shortcut which you have and then you can for example search for the google and then you can search here tab to search in google you can simply click on tab and now you can also write your own search query inside here for example youtube and now this will open your default web browser i will click here on always and now it will search Google for your search query, which is in this case, YouTube. So I think this is very, very cool. Now you will find Fluent Search inside your system tray. So if you go here, you can right click on it and then go here to the settings, for example. And you have here a ton of the options. For example, you can change the theme of the Fluent Search. You can go, for example, to custom, adaptive, fluent, bleach, azure, sun. I think I will go with a fluent one. And then you can also create your own custom theme if you want to and you guys can see here that you can also enable zero latency mode and this means that search will try showing results as soon as possible but this option will might increase your cpu usage and let's go here under the apps and you guys can see here whatever is here enabled for example windows command web apps files clipboard and you guys can also install some of the plugins and here's one really cool thing about the fluent search so now if if I search for, let's say, YouTube, you can simply click here on tab and this will search in Zen. So right now, if you type in YouTube, this will search for you inside Fluent Search 
on your default web browser, which I think is very, very cool. Now, if you dive deep inside the settings of the Fluent Search, you can also, guys, change the default hotkeys, for example. Here we have the search hotkey, which I changed before to Alt plus Space. Then you also have other shortcuts like search in window using screen hotkey. Maybe you can go even with show preview window hotkey, which is Shift plus Return. So here down below, you can pretty much see a ton of the shortcuts, which you can use for this fluent search application now if you go here under the system you can also make sure that you have program up and running whenever you turn on or restart your computer so make sure that you have this option turned on here now here under the personalization you can also go here under the window size and here is a really fun part you can change the search bar size to let's say 70 and here down below you can also change the corner radius so if you want you can also make the search search bar rounder and then here you also have search bar watermark mode which is set to default now we can also change that to date and time so here if you open the fluent search you will see here the date and the time however you guys can also change that to dynamic and this will also change whenever you open the fluent search on your computer and one really cool feature about the fluent search is that you have here the search tags so you guys can look for for example every single app you have installed on your computer using this program now let me invoke the fluent search and let's search for let's say a tag called apps and now if you click on tab this will here search for every single app you have installed on your computer so you can see here pretty much how many of the apps are here and you guys can also see here the path to the program as well now let's say you want to find your downloads folder files here what you will do you will search for downloads click on tab and here you will see the directly your folder to your downloads and you guys can even search for whatever you want to look for inside your downloads folder so remember here we don't have anything but let's say if i put in here one or all these images right here to my downloads folder and if i open right now the fluent search once again and search for the downloads and click on one you can see here that it already found the image which i put here if you want to see which windows you have opened you can simply here search for windows and click on tab and you guys can see here which windows are indeed open for example zen edge microsoft store and you guys can also see here in the taskbar that they are indeed open you guys can also here down below add your own custom search tags the only thing which you will have to add is name as well as the value so something that will be searched for now let's say that your edge browser doesn't respond you guys can also kill it or just close it by using the fluent search for example let's open the fluent search and let's here search for the edge and here you will see the window which is open inside the edge browser but down below you'll find this option kill process and you guys can just click on that and it will turn off the edge browser so overall i think that the fluent search is definitely really cool program which you have to use to improve productivity on your windows machine it has a ton of the customization options you guys can search for many things like apps google even maybe even files and then other things like the translator as well as the currency converter and overall i think it's a really cool app to use so yeah i think this is pretty much it for this video please let me know in the comment section what do you actually think about this program and uh, i will leave its link in the video description down below by the way guys if you are interested in this wallpaper and many others you guys can check them out by clicking the first link in the video description below with that said have an amazing rest of your day and i will see you all around in the next one